In this segment, we're going to look at two threats to construct validity to look out for. Let's take a look at this science alternative assessment. Here, SEC2 students are asked to create a comic strip on an A4 size paper and using a maximum of eight panels to explain clearly the digestion of a named nutrient in a food item. Here is the accompanying rubric. I'd like you to notice the criteria in this science alternative assessment and identify whether there's any issue with construct validity. Would you agree that the criteria of aesthetic quality may be an issue to construct validity? So here, students who may not be able to draw are inhibited in demonstrating their understanding. And even if they understood the digestion of a named nutrient in a food item, this assessment doesn't allow them to demonstrate that. So this is an example of a threat to validity known as construct irrelevant variance. The test contains excess reliable variance, meaning there's extraneous items that makes it difficult or hard for some students to demonstrate their understanding. Another example of Construct Irrelevant Variance, or CIV, is including aesthetics as a criterion for assessing research work. Another example you can think about is when we award or deduct marks for aspects not related to the construct. For example, in a teaching of English essay, marks are deducted for poor handwriting and late submission. The second threat to construct validity that we need to know would be a construct underrepresentation. Here, when a test design is too narrow or fails to include important dimensions or facets of the construct. So something critical is missing. For example, in the teaching of math, we only test the subject through MCQ. So there is construct underrepresentation in the task design. Or in the teaching of PE, we only assess dribbling and shooting as discrete skills in teaching a basketball, but we never put students in a gameplay context. We would not know what extent are students good in basketball. To deepen our understanding of the threats to construct validity, we are going to look at certain case scenarios. When you assess the Google site, you will find certain case studies of alternative assessment designs for different subject disciplines. Choose one and identify what is being assessed. Begin by completing the sentence. This test is assessing students' ability to do what? It could be students' ability to write a paragraph, to write explanation. In thinking about the areas for improvement, consider these two ideas, construct underrepresentation or construct irrelevant variance. Construct underrepresentation or CUR essentially talks about something critical being missing in the task design. For construct irrelevant variants, extraneous items have been included such that students with a true ability find it difficult to demonstrate their understanding. Have a go at doing that and you will get feedback on your thinking in the next segment. Read the case scenarios that is shown in Padlet and post your ideas in the comment box to identify the construct and notice whether there's any CUR or CIV involved.